Today we're going to talk about trigonometric identities, uh, or specifically equalities, if you will. The seven that I have up right now, you already know. You know that the cosecant is one over sine, the secant is one over cosine, so on and so forth. These are all called reciprocal identities because they are reciprocals of each other. Now, if we look at what we've been studying to this point, we've been studying circles and relationships in terms of x's and y's. So we know that x squared plus y squared is 1 is the standard equation for a circle with the center at 0, 0. Now, if we're talking the unit circle, we know that the x value is cosine and the y value is sine. And we can then say that by substitution that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. This is our first identity. It's called a Pythagorean identity. Now, if we know that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, we can create another identity by dividing each term by sine squared, and we get 1 plus cotangent squared is equal to cosecant squared. There's your second Pythagorean identity. And likewise, if we start out with sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, and we divide each term by cosine squared, we end up with tangent squared plus 1 is secant squared. And there's your third Pythagorean identity. And all of them are listed right here. These, I would suggest you know like your phone number. All right? It's, it's going to become imperative that you be able to use these. Now, not only do we have three Pythagorean identities, but if you are to move any of these numbers or terms around by addition and subtraction, we create nine identities or equalities, whatever you want to say. So I can say sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. However, if you know that relationship, then you should be comfortable with knowing that 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared, etc., etc., through all nine of these. And like I said, these are going to be very, very helpful in all of our work. So primarily today we're going to simplify some expressions and we'll start out with something you already know how to do, simplify an algebraic expression where in algebra we take and take the x out, leaving me with x plus y and 2 out, leaving me with x plus y. Like factors reduce, and this simplifies to x over 2. And if it were all like that, then life would be easy. But we're going to do this with trigonometric functions. So I'm going to simplify this expression right here as far as it will go. So I have secant squared, and I have this 1 minus cosine squared. Now that looks very similar to me to a Pythagorean identity, and it is. 1 minus cosine squared, if you look back at the identities, is equal to sine squared. And I know that secant squared is equivalent to a reciprocal identity of 1 over cosine squared. So notice, by multiplying these, I have sine squared over cosine squared, which simplifies to tangent squared of x. And that's the simplified version of the original expression. These are both Pythagorean identities, and I like looking for Pythagorean identities before I do anything else. I'll show you some other ideas later. But for right now, those are Pythagorean identities. 1 plus cotangent squared is cosecant squared. And 1 plus tangent squared is secant squared. Now I know that this might be able to be simplified a little bit because of its reciprocal identities or 1 over sine squared over 1 over cosine squared. Multiply by the reciprocal and I get cosine squared over sine squared which equals cotangent squared. And that's my simplified term. Now you'll notice in this case uh, we have 1 plus tangent squared is secant squared. So I'm going to use that first. Now 
when I see this term right here and I see a tangent on the bottom and there's a cotangent on the top, this is what I notice. I notice that this is really equivalent to 1 over tan x. So I know 1 over tan x is cotan x. Therefore, if 1 over tan x is cotan x, and I already have a cotan x, that's cotangent squared of x times secant squared of x. And now I'm going to use some sine and cosine identities to tack on to this. Secant squared is 1 over cosine squared. And cotangent is cosine squared of x over sine squared of x. You'll notice that I have common factors. So I have 1 over sine squared of x left, which is equal to cosecant squared of x. And that's the simplified form of that expression. So finally, we have this expression here. I know that there are no Pythagorean identities, so then I will change everything to just sines and cosines to make my life easier. Maybe I see some things. Tangent is sine over cosine. So now I have cosine of x plus sine squared over cosine. Now what I'm going to do is I have an expression here that's asking me to add two things. But in order to add these two things, I need an LCD of cosine. Well, if I'm going to have a cosine on both, then I need to multiply by a form of 1, thus giving me cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x over cosine. I notice that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. That's a Pythagorean identity over cosine of x which is just equal to secant of x. You're going to have to become very comfortable with these Pythagorean identities and reciprocal identities and be able to use them in an algebraic context to be able to simplify. And tomorrow we will do a little bit of verification work, or if you want to call it proof work, we'll call it proof work. Until then.